Hello there, Pokemon trainers. This is Trainer Connor, and it is indeed time for a new Wi-Fi battle video. Remember to like this video and subscribe for more as we venture forth. Now, before we start this battle video, Nintendo just revealed Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon in their direct presentation a few days ago. Ultra Sun and Moon are brand new Pokemon games coming November 17th. Nothing much to reveal yet, but I do think there will be some interesting concepts in these titles, which is exciting in a way. Looking forward to it. E3 should help us get information going forward, but you never know. Either way, awesome stuff to hear from Nintendo. But now to the battle. You see here, this is another good passivide I'm facing. From left to right on my end, we have a Skyplate Harness Crow carrying Sucker Punch and Mossy. Uh, a very nice Agron set with an offensive punch to the team. Forges with an excellent EV spread of Max HP. Split in special attack and defense. A defensive lantern. A calm mind reckless. And this event, Lycan Rock, with its hidden ability. My challenger has threats, including Charizard that has a Mega Stone, uh, Cresselia, Eager Slash, uh, Whimsicott, Tapu Coco, to name a few. I'll say this match has me feeling better about my playing habits, and that should be a good thing, I suppose. All right, let's jump right into this battle. Enjoy. Okay, so here's me <laughs> and um, my challenger. Okay, so I'm going to start with Boss the Hodge Crow here. And my opponent is going to start out with Charizard. I wasn't sure what Mega it's going to be. But I do know that I can switch out and go into Lantern, expecting a Fire-type move or possibly a Hidden Power Ice. My opponent has a Mega Charizard Y, which is now becoming really popular. I don't know why. And it is appropriate at this time because it is really sunny. Although today is kind of cloggy, but you know, whatever it is. Uh, he does reveal his power eyes, which is good to know. I was really close to swapping out, expecting, well, not really like going for full switch like that, but like physically switching out because of the solar beam. He does not have it apparently. So I took the opportunity to uh, use full switch and I kind of get some damage off to the Cresselia. I go with a Sucker Punch with Lycanroc here, but I fail because uh, Cresselia has Trick Room. And knowing that, I can go into Reaclus trying to bluff the fact that I have Shadow Ball. I actually do not have Shadow Ball, which really sucks because it's like I'm facing off against a potential threat to my entire team. If this Cresselia has Calm Mind and Moonlight and everything like that, I'm in for a hurting here. Now, he can't really do much to me without setting up, so that's why I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, take a few turns and set up a Calm Mind, like a lot of them. Which is okay, because, you know, this is a Skull War, which I really hate. I don't really like getting into this, into this kind of stuff in the first place, but it is what I have to do. Now, if you're wondering why I'm not taking poison damage, it's because Reniclus has the ability uh, Magic Guard, which makes it so if you get poisoned, you don't take any extra damage from the poison. You're, you're set to go there. Now, he does reveal the Moonlight here, which really sucks because it's like, ugh, I went through all the trouble trying to put some damage onto this thing. And now we have to do it all over again. But that's okay. As long as Reniclus is in good shape, we can win this one on one. He goes into Duskinor. I wasn't really threatened by Duskinor at all. I can maybe take a few hits from this thing. Maybe if it has like a, a Z power move or a like a Shadow Punch or Shadow Sneak. I can pretty much take that because this particular arena class that I have is EV to live these kinds of hits. Now my opponent does reveal the Z power, never ending nightmare. I'm not really sure if it's a special attacking move or a physical move, 
But it is indeed strong, but I can move it. So. Here we go, we move it with 54 HP, and then go with a Psychic at plus 3, I guess? I don't know. I, I was setting up a little bit there, but I guess I wasn't paying attention, but it's okay. So I reveal the opportunity to switch out. That is the best way of saying it, but it's not really. But it's okay, I can go to the Hunch Crow here, knowing that I can dodge a Shadow Punch or a Shadow Sneak, or whatever he has. In this case, it's going to be a uh, Shadow Punch. Now he does switch out, goes into Tapu Koko. And Tapu Koko pretty much walls this set as long as he's on the field, I guess. But I can go with Sucker Punch uh, if I wanted to. But I feel like it's really predictable. I go into Lantern, expecting not really Dazzling Gleam, but it's good to know that he has it at his disposal. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. I am really bulky, like, I'm not especially bulky, but really bulky enough to take Dazzling Gleams, physical moves, all that stuff. I go with a nice beam, I end up catching Cresselia on its way in here, and he has the Citrus Berry. I was really hoping for a freeze, because that would have been very useful at this point, but I don't get that. So here I go with another Volk Switch. It's great that I have speed because of Trick Room, but I can't really do much to him. He goes with another Toxic. I'm not really sure because I could have gotten back into Reapless. I really should have done that, but it's okay. It's okay, you guys. Boss is here. He can be a boss and he can pretty much threaten Cresselia. Uh, he probably was expecting a Sucker Punch right there, which. I had no reason to do that at this point. We're gonna go with the roost to get some of our HP back. I need to switch out of here though, because I can't use Brave Bird or anything like that. So all this was pointless, I guess, but it's okay. He goes back into Duskinor. I end up switching out, and I think, if I'm correct, I go into Lycanroc. Yes, we do. We go into Lycanroc. I thought this would be a great chance to uh, set up a Source Dance. I actually go with a Source Dance, so it's perfect, but I get poisoned in the process. Is that a good thing or not? I don't know. Well, if I can nail a Stone Edge or a uh, Sucker Punch... No, you know what? Let's just go for the Stone Edge. It's, it's pretty clear that I might miss it anyway, and that would have been terrible, but I end up hitting it after all. Because I have such crappy luck with that move, it's not even funny. He goes into Ega Slash. And I was like, okay, he's going to predict a Sucker Punch. It's painfully obvious. So, I end up going with another Sword Dance, but he does the exact opposite. So therefore, I end up losing my Rock, but I should have gone with a Sucker Punch then. Oh well, this is why Ega Slash is banned. In standard place in Ubers, right? I think he is. He's still in Ubers. I don't know why he's bringing it to the battle, but it's okay. It's, ch it's a challenge. I'll take it. I go with a Scald trying to burn it, obviously, because why not, right? Why wouldn't you take the opportunity to burn it? Because it's so darn powerful, it's not even funny. So, here we go. We end up living the secret sword there, or a sacred sword, whatever sword he has, it's a sword. And uh, we take it with ease. I don't know why he went with the iron head there. Probably expecting a switch out of some kind. I go with the aggron. Not expecting to outspeed this slash. Is that even possible? Either he doesn't have a speed investment. I don't know what's well, I don't know what's going on there. That's what I'm saying. The head power is gonna come in. Go with the uh, earthquake and we end up killing Ego Slash, which is perfect. Unfortunately, we still have to deal with Charizard. He has Heat Wave. I was crossing my fingers for a miss right there, but of course I don't get that kind of opportunity. So, goodbye, Agron. You did your best. So here I go into Rosa here. Rosa is the Forges I've been talking about. It's more offensively orientated, so I can't really take... I mean, it's a two-hit KO on the Heat Wave. Everything else I might be able to take, but... Man, that is one strong Pokemon, so I am right out of options at this point. I only have uh, Crow and Reaclus at this point, so 
I don't know what hidden power it is. I'm pretty sure it's hidden power ice because it is super effective to Harsh Crow and everything. But yeah, the last Pokemon that is going to be reinforced. I can't really do much. Man, I didn't really do much to the Charizard and he pretty much destroyed me. I don't know what I did wrong, you guys, but I thought that was a great battle and I was just looking at it like, oh my goodness, what did I do wrong there? But uh, great battle. I enjoyed it. I will definitely look for battles that seem very good. So just, you know, just take this opportunity to kind of, you know, look at this match and just say, okay, maybe next time I will do better and vice versa. But anyway, so thank you guys for watching this video. If you end up enjoying the video, all you gotta do is like the video, subscribe for more videos, and I will see you in the next one. Have yourselves a great week, trainers. See ya.